Hello, FR Sky Party people. This is Steve from FR Sky, and today we're going to be talking about assigning channels to switches, sliders, and knobs. And I'm not going to give you one example. I'm going to give you two examples for the price of none. Here we go. This is going to be fairly straightforward and simple. This is something that um, I get asked quite a bit. Uh, sometimes people look at the radio for the first time and they say, hey, where's the landing gear switch? And the reason they ask that is because everything they've used up to this point has a switch at the top that says gear up and gear down. It's a two position switch and this radio doesn't have it. So, um, and to make things worse, there's no pre can mix that says landing gear. And before you freak out and say, oh my gosh, this is over my head. Let's just see how simple this all is. Um, we're going to work with this thing right here. This is the airplane icon. This has everything that pertains to the model. Um, we can go in and make elaborate models inside of here, um, but they're not permanent in the respect that the next time you create a new model, none of these presets or all the things you worked on, none of that copies over unless you happen to clone the model. So the way I made this is I did model select and I hit the plus icon and we created this Corsair model. If I need to edit it for any reason, like change the name of it, I would change it there. If I want to bind it to a receiver, this is where I would do it at, but we're going to work in the mixer. Um, and this is nothing really too scary. You've seen this type of stuff before. Rudder is assigned to channel four. So you take the rudder servo, plug it into the fourth channel, throttle goes in the third channel, elevators go in the second channel. We're having a problem with channel uh, the ailerons uh, because they plug into channel one like they normally do but it also goes into channel five and for a lot of people channel five is the landing gear uh, channel and we're not using it so right away we have a problem and then you're like well okay well maybe there's a pre-cam mix and maybe you can help me out so I am going to show you that there are pre-can mixes, but a lot of these mixes don't pertain to anything that will help us with this problem. Oh, there's great mixes. You have camber, butterfly, air brake. Those are things for a glider, snap roll for a 3D plane. Then you have Steve's personal favorite, Aileron Rudder, because uh, I flew a lot of um, flying wings in the past, so I'm a banking yang kind of guy. And this little thing will help me turn the rudder in the correct direction with the ailerons that gives me nice smooth turns to prevent adverse yaw but the landing gear mix is not here and you're bummed out but don't worry because the king of all the mixes is at the very top number one position the free mix and we're going to hit that and i'm going to ask me where do i want to put it in the last position so if i hit return you can see it's right here and absolutely nothing set up. There's just not named, there's no source, and there's no channels. And pretty much all we have to do when assigning a switch is just work on these three things right here, the name, the source, and the channel. So I go back in and click on it once, go back into edit, click on it right there. So get to the very far right. And I'm gonna call this first channel G-E-A-R, gear. And hit return. I'm going to hit return one more time. You can see we're making progress. We gave a name. Now I give it a source. So once again, I click on it, go into edit. Source is going to be, you click on it once. And now if you're at the radio, if you flip a switch or move a knob or um, a slider, it will populate it for you. So on my PC, I'm going to uh, do this um, manually. And I assign switch F. Switch F is a two position switch. And you can see that it goes from right now it's at positive 100. You can see this little orange thing over here. Press it again, it's negative 100. Okay, so when you get to negative 100, usually the gears retract, positive 100, the gears go up. And if I hit return, you can see we're making progress. We have a name, we have a source, we don't have a channel. So, guess what we're doing next? Um, here's a little speed trick. If you long press on it and don't let go, you can go right into the edit. And at the bottom here is channel count. There's one channel, but there's no outputs. So 
we need to assign a channel and I just do it by going down the list here and looking for the first available channel which as I said before um, channel 5 is used for aileron 2 so I'm going to use channel 6 instead and then it's going to ask me if I want to name channel 6 the gear channel so I say yes now all of a sudden when I press the switch F you can see it go from negative 100 to positive 100 so and look at that we have a functional mix right there all right so I'm gonna create another mix and this is one that's a little bit more um, well something you won't see as often uh, let's say I bought this used plane and somebody kindly decided to put uh, LED lights all over it and um, these LED lights have a light controller and as it's at negative 100 the lights are off but as soon as you mix it to a positive 100 uh, or as you start moving um, an, uh, something analog like um, a pot or a slider you'll see the lighting patterns change every so often as you move along so there might be eight different lighting patterns in this whole thing which to me is really cool and uh, I'm looking forward to setting that up but this time I'm going to take it to a little faster because once again we're going to set up a free mix once again we'll put it in the last position the source this time is instead of being a because if I was on a switch I'd miss a lot of the lighting pattern effects so I'm going to set up an analog and the one I want to use is pot well actually um I'm going to say slider right, okay? And then I get out of here. And then the output channel is, I have to use a free output channel. Did I rename this? Oh, yeah, I did not rename it. So it's the first thing I should have done was rename it. So shame on me. I'm just going to call this lights. And if I do not rename it, then I will not be able to give the channel a name. All right, so output channel is going to be channel free at channel 7. Do I want to name it that? Yep. Now, if I hit return, you'll see that everything's populated. I have something called lights. It's on the right slider right, um, and it's on channel 7. Uh, let's just say that I want to move this to the pot two um, so that's when you look in the front of your radio it's that knob on the top right so go back into edit and for here all I would do is switch select pot two hit return and now um, it's on pot two um, I'm going to show you an extra credit though um, let's just imagine that you want to use um, a gyro so as you change the lighting patterns you can do it by moving the radio on the x-axis or rolling it left and right for example and the way I do that is go in here go into edit and go into instead of using analogs we're going to go down to the bottom here and use gyro and I'm going to use it on the x-axis and hit return and what you'll see is now as I roll the radio left and right it will change the lighting patterns pretty nifty stuff huh um, if you have questions feel free to contact me my name is Steve I can be reached at steve at frsky negative sign rc.com thank you for watching